Hello and welcome to my Liquitex Basics vs. Royal Talents Amsterdam Acrylics Test. I received the Liquitex complete set of 48 about two weeks ago. I was immediately impressed by the color assortment, especially the tray I unpack now with the blues and the beige at the very end or ochre. I like them quite much from my very first glance. I already own the Royal Talents 36 acrylics set, but I actually only bought these because one year ago I couldn't get the Liquitex set anywhere. So instead I went ahead and got the Royal Talents ones. Now that they are available again and they were on sale, I got them and was looking forward to trying them out. First I swatched them by gluing a black sheet of paint on paper on a white background and then I started to swatch them by putting the paint directly on the paper. And what happened was it was too much paint most of the time and the very first thing I realized was that the Liquitex colors are very economical when it comes to their paint distribution. You get a lot out of these tiny tubes. I continued to swatch them and fell in love with this exact row of colors that you can see. The greens are very nice and I especially like the combination with these ochre tones. I myself am not big on mixing colors. I prefer having the complete assortment at my disposal and then deciding which colors to use. I was watching a thrilling TV series at the time and there was a jump scare, which is why I messed up the last black paint swatch. A special thing about this Liquitex set compared to the Royal Talents one is that they have silver, gold, copper and bronze in there. The Royal Talents set of 48 doesn't have this. If that is something that's important to you, that could be the factor deciding which one to get. I then write down the name as well as the opacity level of each color on my swatches. The Liquitex basic set will arrive in this box. You need to remove the paper box. There are four trays with 12 colors each. I am definitely not a fan of the packaging. These trays are made out of plastic and I can see them breaking very soon and making it even harder to remove the trays. And removing isn't that much the problem, it is getting them back inside that I'm struggling with. This is the fully swatched color palette from Liquitex. The Liquitex set is bigger. There is also a 48 set from Royal Talents, but I do not own that. I own the 36 set from Talents. For me, there were way too many yellows in the Royal Talents set and not enough purples and not enough greens. I am not impressed with the greens in the Liquitex set, but I do love the blues and the purples. It is the next day. I finished swatching my Liquitex colors yesterday and today I want to try them out in a painting. I'm thinking I will do the same painting twice, once with Liquitex colors and once with the Amsterdam Royal Talents colors so that you can uh, see them side by side in comparison. I am using Paint On Multi Techniques paper it is suited for acrylics and I also have my Reeves disposable paper palette with me. The very first thing I noticed was that it is easier to apply the Royal Talents paint. The Royal Talents uh, goes on the paper very smoothly and the Liquitex you can see um, on the in the upper right corner I struggled quite a bit with applying the color. I kept mixing water in there and it seemed to me that the Liquitex colors don't mix as well with water as the Royal Talents ones do. Maybe that is what gives them this smooth viscosity. 
but I struggled applying the paint. Because I draw with acrylics mostly for fun, it is important to me that the process of painting is enjoyable and that I would say was more the case with the Royal Talons. Of course, because I don't know the Liquitex colors yet, I didn't quite know how they would behave and this phenomenon I described before that they produce so much color from this little paint kept going on while I was painting. Especially with the blues, I accidentally kept making the strokes too broad and applied too much paint. With the green, I unfortunately was disappointed. Both of these green tones are supposed to be half opaque. The left with Royal Talons is so much more opaque than the right one with the Liquitex. I accidentally painted them in the wrong order, that is why uh, on the left there already is green and on the right I am now drawing the reds. With the reds I noticed a streakiness in the Liquitex colors. But you have to know that I mixed two colors in order to achieve the crimson that Royal Talons has and one of the mixed colors was a hue and therefore not opaque. Maybe that messed up the whole thing. I now notice that details are easier to paint with the Liquitex. Even though it is the same brush, the feeling of applying the paint was quite different. You can now see them side by side. On the left is the Royal Talons, on the right is Liquitex. You will notice the streakiness, especially in the red and green that I talked about. All in all, I can say the Royal Talons pros are that they are good for widespread painting. They are good for flat paint layers. If that is your style, I would recommend going for the Royal Talons. I believe the, they are easier to paint with and they behave as you would acrylics expect to behave. And 90 colors in the largest set is quite much. If you are someone like me who doesn't like mixing colors, that is definitely a pro for you. But the 36 is not my favorite color assortment, though the 48 set has the best out of all the Royal Talons uh, sets. When I bought them they had such a stupid packaging, now they have the same packaging as Liquitex. Liquitex however, what I experienced was that it would be good for detailed paintings. Because of the creamy consistency it might also be a good choice for impasto if that is what you are preferring to use your acrylics for. They also have very nice colors in this uh, basic set. I believe you get everything you need out of these 48 colors. However, they are harder to apply. You need to get to know the color and how it's behaving. There are only 48 colors in the biggest set and I dislike the packaging, but that is my personal preference. I hope this comparison was at all helpful to you. I thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.